Hello guys, welcome to Code Flamingo Junior. I am Abhi Kosa and I am here to teach you how to make wonderful games. So, yeah, it's high time. Ignite the code and you nothing captures the imagination like creating stuff. So today we will make a ping pong game using Sage. Ready, set, go. Good. So without any further delay, gear up coders and let's dive right in. So this is our game. We are controlling the add-in with a mouse pointer. Score increases. Oh, I lost. So let's dive right, right in and let's start coding. So on the next start, open a Nick new tab and write scratch dot mit dot edu. So first you need to sign in so that your project can be saved. Then just click on create. Okay, then first rename your project. Then just choose the background from here. You can choose any background. So I'm uh, delete the scratch as well. Now we need a paddle, ball, uh, a line, and a game over sprite. So first, let's choose the paddle, ball, and the line. Paddle, just type paddle, and you will get this. Okay, then just choose a ball, this ball. So here you will get so a uh, mini costume. You can choose any color of in them. Like I'm uh, the ball that I'm going to choose is green ball. Or even what you can do is just select the ball, just tap on it, and you can even change the color. Like I'm doing it. Let me show you. Bye. Yeah, like for for I want this ball, so it, I can choose it. Or what I can do is just go like. Let me. Wo I want the ball for my. Yes. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just click on this, and this is this. So paint it. This color is selected on its own. So it's done now. Let me just put it between this and let me just even choose. So it is a, uh, just about the designing part. You can even do that. Now my ball just likely looks like looks like this ball and only a spider. So but actually the ball that I'm going to choose is uh, this blue ball. Oh, sorry, green ball. Uh, yes. Baldy. 
Oh. Yeah. So let's start coding then for uh, okay for the python. So what we are going to do is just click on the event. Let's take the when flag green flag click. Then we as in this game we are having this in our on our um mouse pointer and on a specific location of the y position so let's just put a set y set y to like minus 30 let's say no a bit down minus 40 uh, get more yeah now it's fine now we must put a forever loop then set x down a bit set x to the our mouse pointer now mouse x so now as we can see that it is moving now let's just put a for code for the ball so First, we need control when being flat. L pressed. Uh, yes. Okay. So we must also declare a score as we are having the score here. Just declare score and delete this uh, my variable. Okay. Set score to zero. Go to let's send it to a position which will be zero by zero zero by zero and then just we need a pointing direction like the ball should roam around like this is moving like this it's moving and uh, taking a different angle every time so what we are going to do is just point in direction go in point in direction random choose a random block and then we are going to choose it to 0 to 300. 300 or let's say 360. Okay. Then we are going to put a forever block to if statement. Okay. Then in that touching, yeah, we also must declare take in this a line. Line. So the line is already here. Okay, so let me just drag it from the line. It should be let me just output a eight eight and y position should be minus one seventy six. Yeah, good. But let me just stretch this also here from the costumes. Oh no 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 not this side and let me just stretch it a bit. yeah now it's perfect or uh, what you can do is change the color like i want a green color for example so what i will do just color it and it will come but i don't want a green color because i want a red color okay so it's touching line touching yeah oh, sensing touching line so what it should do is exactly it should broadcast a message broadcast a message mm, broadcast message one for example or new message will be game over okay now if it is touching the paddle so what should it do it should turn this position 90 degrees is or you can even do like this choosing this block rather than this but in this just put ni minus 90 then if you are choosing this block i am choosing this block for 90 degree and change score variable we must change score by let's say 2 oh, and just let's also play a sound of pop no 
yeah pop is fine and play a song play a song until done so let's just test it what okay now yeah we must also take it a move forward move let's say five step or eight step oh yeah lion is on the wrong side 76 yeah ठीक now fine yeah now like it is moving on the edge only so what I'm going to do there is a block or if on the end bounce bounce so, uh -huh. yeah now what I can do is even like change the uh, speed if steps like for example um, let's say 32 oh this is very fast let's just take the speed a bit low but fast as well so let's just take it to 25 for example yeah wow it's moving fast or uh, what we can do is copy this duplicate let's say yeah let me just also make it two ball okay let me just also take another ball for example let me make it more difficult for the level player so what i'm going to do delete this costume but put this to, yeah so blue and green so what i'm going to do is copy this code or just tag it here yes now in both of these it will pull now now it's a bit fast now it's a bit challenging now but it is touching the as you can see these both are touching the green la uh, red line so what should it do so first you must also create this effort so what we are going to do when I receive so a bit down or uh, no yeah down when i receive game over stop stop all or stop stop other sprites in script and one more stop block for this sprite as well uh, so clean up and let me just put this code as well from here this is all done and what should happen if the paddle receive so what should it do is stop the same code here again so what we can do rather than doing it again just put it here and now the code is also here clean up blocks now what should happen to the red line so it should do the same code but here we need a game over sprite as well so it should print a game over okay so what i'm going to do is just take a text box type let me just take it to pixels okay let me just take a pixel then this uh, game over now okay so now i will just doing this and stretch it oh that's very big let me just do it a small in size as well a bit more it's a bit stretching and this thing um no a bit small again i can even change the location of it like x10 and minus 21 or it can be the 20 minus uh, 15 or 10 yeah now it's fine and x should be 15 or minus 15 um bit down minus 10 mm. minus 5 mm. it should be at 1 hey yeah now it's fine so but in the starting it should not show okay so what we are going to do is just put this lock when this click take 
let me just save it as well hide um, now if I receive game uh, game over then just just hide now let's just run our game and see what should what happens oh ho oh ho I'm not able to move only out yeah it's a bit challenging for the player as well so if you like to make a smaller version of this like a slow version so i can declare it like 10 no 15 a bit and for this poll as well let me just take it to 15 now i think it should a bit slow but it is good it is a fast speed and i have to yeah i'm out I'm out in this game as well so so now we are done with our game yeah sorry I stopped sharing a bit yeah I just stopped sharing let me share it again okay so as we are done with the game uh, you can also follow me on social media connect with me on YouTube on Code Flamingo Junior Code Flamingo Junior, I, and e even you can mail me on Code Flamingo Junior at the rate gmail.com. So, oh, if you like today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe my channel Th for more amazing games. Bye, everybody. Stay safe, stay happy.